It's a fantastic voyage into a watery world inside a woman's body. Procedure new to Los Angeles is offering a way to save the fetus, which would otherwise have no hope of survival. It's only done at Hollywood Presbyterian Hospital. Tuesday evening, emergency surgery, Hollywood Presbyterian Medical Center. Surgeon Raman Schmidt is about to journey where few neonatologists dare to tread. Ultrasound. He's taking a laser and endoscope inside the womb. One, two, are you watching, Alma? The image is simply breathtaking. There is the nose and the mouth. Doctors don't enter the womb unless moms or babies are in dire jeopardy. She's stuck. A day earlier, expectant mom Alma Duffy so got the news. Is if you do nothing, there's about a 95% chance the pregnancy will be lost. Alma's just 20 weeks along, but all of a sudden... It feels like I'm at the end of my pregnancy because my back started hurting. Extreme bloating, a symptom of the condition threatening her baby's lives. Twin, twin, twin transfusion, transfusion syndrome. We have identical twins that share the same placenta, and they have these communicating blood vessels. They share blood. But one baby's giving more to her sister than she's getting in return. That unequal sharing has created problems. The donor baby's kidneys are shut down, and her water bag has collapsed around her like a shrink-wrapped cocoon. She has no fluid around. See that? The baby cannot freely extend the arm. Her sister has plenty of room to swim, but in reality, she's doing even worse. Believe it or not, she's the sicker of the two. In a nutshell... One baby becomes fluid overloaded and goes into heart failure, and the other baby establishes essentially severe dehydration. Their only chance for survival, fetal scopic surgery. It's new in Los Angeles, offered through a collaboration between USC, Hollywood Presbyterian, and Children's Hospital Los Angeles. These are babies that basically all died before this time. The kind of uh, condition that these babies have was uniformly uh, fatal up until the advent of fetoscopic fetal surgery. Dr. Schmidt is one of just a handful of surgeons nationwide who know how to do this through Alma's tummy. We put a three and a half millimeter scope into the uterus. Once inside, it's as if you were going to go on an adventure. Fetal surgeons never know what to expect. The baby's foot is trying to kick me, but I'm not one to fight. Out of the baby's way. Working around his tiny patients, Dr. Schmidt maps the blood vessels of the placenta to determine which ones connect the babies to mom and which connect the babies to each other. Those are the ones he wants to obliterate. From there, he will laser each of the abnormal vessels. An hour later, time for one last look around. The, this is the baby's recipient's hand, see that? saying, okay, Dr. Schmidt, you're doing a good job. Dr. Schmidt hopes he's earned that vote of confidence. All we can do now is pray. Fetal surgery comes with no guarantees. We quote patients an 85% chance at least one baby would survive, 50% chance both would survive. The day after surgery... I'm nervous for the patient and for those babies. A few minutes later... <laughs> two heartbeats. Nurse Terry Matino tells Dad. Okay, Pete, we got two heartbeats. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. We got two babies. Wow. wow. Five weeks later, another ultrasound. All this water belongs to the baby that was the donor. So she now has space to grow, and the recipient baby. The ultrasound evidence of heart failure is now gone. Great news for these once very sick twins. Dr. Schmidt is reluctant to start lighting cigars. I'll wait to see after the babies are born. I am a little bit superstitious, but I have a very good feeling about this. It's now been nine weeks since the surgery, and Alma Duffy's been on bed rest since uh, ever since, except for a brief respite to go to her own baby shower last weekend. She went to the doctor yesterday for a checkup. I feel good because, you know, each time I go to the doctor, everything is right on track with, you know, their heartbeat and their heart rate and how they're looking with the ultrasound. The whole family, including three-year-old <laughs> Lexi and four-year-old AJ, are getting excited about greeting the new arrivals. They don't know what they'll name them yet. The twins are due June oh, yeah. 15th. Wow. <laughs> yeah, the technology to let you do that surgery is amazing, and the technology to let you see it right. to do yeah. it is Incredible. amazing. Science is a good thing. 
I mean, it really is. And uh, there's there's evidence of it. But boy, when you see it played out that way, it, it's a miracle on top of miracle, as you suggest. Yeah.